Hey everybody, we are back. A um, little sooner than we thought we would be, right? A little bit. Yeah. Uh, we recently actually took our first trip out since February to LA. Yep. They were There's an um, area called Little Tokyo, and they have a bunch of cafes and fun um, Japanese-themed stuff there. And one of the cafes was doing a promotion for Bang Dream. Mm-hmm. Um, the cafe itself is called Cafe Dulce. And the promotion was called Bang Dream Cafe. Very appropriate. Um, they had some tiers that you could buy and different days you could go pick up. Everything was really cool. Um, we got, like, the basic tier and the mid-tier. Uh, there was a tier with a t-shirt, but... Yeah, well, we skipped the t-shirt. It was we saw a little the t-shirt. expensive, yeah. The t-shirt looks an awful lot like the mug that we're about to show right. you guys. Right, yeah. And not, we also didn't need much. two mugs. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll start with said mug. Um, would you like to unbox it or shall I? You can unbox it. I don't care. Okay. Um, so this mug basically with everything else came to like, yeah, 20 it, bucks. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it, it, it was 20 bucks, but there was no way to buy it without being part of like a bundle type right. situation. Yeah. That was to make sure I think to control the flow of mm-hmm. items. Right. And so you basically got a band donut and a band coffee right. tea, which I was... Hey, I don't, I don't like coffee, so it was actually pretty awesome that they let you pick a tea instead. Yeah, I was really surprised. They had, like, a bunch of menu options. It was really cool. It was really nice. And then they printed the band logo or the head girl, lead girl of the band, depending on your uh, tier that you got. Yeah. So here's the mug. Pretty cool mug. Yeah. I'm into it. Scroll it because all the girls that were picked for the promotion are on it, and I think it's every band leader so yeah here is the logo really cute um again the t-shirt pretty much looks the same so Mm -hmm. Eh, it's whatever um it's a standard size mug feels great no chips no nothing cool everything's great yeah um and then everybody depending on whatever band you picked you also got a coaster you and then you also got the Rosalia donut as well, too. Yes, which we have other pictures of. Do you want to show them my coaster? Yeah. Too. Um, and then there's this Bang Dream second anniversary oh, on the yeah. back of it. Okay. Yeah, a little Pico art. It's fun. Yeah. It's uh, it actually, cute. I was surprised. Those coasters actually do say LA on them. Like, they're not. Oh, like, they do, yeah. They're not, like, recycled from, like, a Japanese mm-hmm. promotion. Nope. They, they are exclusive printed special, to that. yeah, exclusively for this. Mm-hmm. Here's Kasumi. Just looking very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Same back. These so they're cool though. They're yeah, actually yeah. waxy. Um, you could probably definitely use them. I'm not going to. They're great art though. Yeah, and so the the donuts themselves were kind of like um, I don't know how to describe it. You're, you know, you know more about that than I would, but they were like, sort of like a sandwich. Yeah, it looks like what they did was they um, they basically fried the donuts and it's a really it seemed like a really good recipe and they got really poofy and then they cut them in half and then they each one like had a different filling like flavor um and then different colors and like sprinkles and different color like icing to go along with each of the band's like themes so like mine i believe it was like this dark blue and it had like this uh royal icing like rose in the middle and it had some cool pretty jages and it was Blueberry cream cheese, mm-hmm. I think. And I think yours was like strawberry yeah. or something like that. Yeah, it was pretty good. Really good sugar load. Like it was it was crazy. But yeah, they were really, really ornate for the promotion. I yeah. really, really like that. So yeah. For sure. It was great. Um Yeah, but, then the the one tier above that was the one that you got like the the slightly different top, like basically the I don't even know how to describe it. When they print the logos on top right, of yeah. the, the tea and There's like coffee. a machine. Like I watched a little video that they had yeah. done like a week ago and to show us how to do that because I actually didn't know how you do that. Um, and they put it in the machine and it's like a laser printer and it prints on the foam of the drink. Right. It's like a milk foam kind of, it's a, it's a latte. And I guess you can make a latte out of anything, obviously, because you could get tea or coffee. It was really cool. And they did the girls and then they did the logos for those of us who Right, and the highest tier, the yeah. highest tier actually had like the most ornate ones that were mm-hmm. like the yeah, yeah, that was, was like a hundred bucks. Really pretty. I think that's what got you the T-shirt, and then there was also a tier that got pins. We skipped the pins. I think that was a separate purchase that okay. I accidentally forgot to do. Um, we had a couple 
people that we know that went and mm-hmm. they got their pins. I don't think they had any for sale, like extra, because I think they just produced enough for whoever bought them. Yeah. But that's totally fine. Like right, right. somebody did come up to us and was like, hey, you guys want to trade? And we were like, we don't have anything to trade, <laughs> but it's okay. Like yeah. I did see one of my uh, mutuals on Twitter actually got like four Kokoro pins and one different one. That would suck. Yeah, she's a little disappointed, but I mean, like, hey, more Kokoro in your life, the better. You're going to be smiling all day. Yeah, and while we were there, we were like, I wonder what's actually open right. in L.A. Yeah, and So surprisingly enough, there were a lot of places that were open. Right, right. they were open at, at limited, in little Tokyo. limited operating capacity, mm-hmm. like basically, you know, 10 to 12 people in the store at a time. Mm-hmm. They had uh, basically no... You, you, you had to have a mask. Yeah. You, you had to have a mask um, to go in. Sanitizing, right? As you mm-hmm. walked in, some places had like a drink holder for your, you know, because all of like the food places pretty much were open, not for indoors, but you could take your order at the door and then yeah. go outside. I would say everybody was pretty well behaved about that stuff. Oh, yeah. So if you're kind of on the fence about going in and checking it out, you're you're probably fine, especially in a place like Little Tokyo. Yeah, just be safe and be courteous to everybody. Um, so we inevitably took a walk over to Anime Jungle, which is where we got a lot of the figures that you saw in the, the last couple videos that were sort of out of nowhere. Um, right. And we picked up a couple different ones. We felt it appropriate to unbox the newer Kasumi. Newer. That's the um, the stage variant version. Yes. Um, um, she has two. She's got her school uniform one, which I think they released all of Coffin Party. Yeah, yeah, which is... I don't think anybody else has a set. They're slowly releasing them. And then they gave her this one, which is really cute because she comes with a guitar. Mm-hmm. Yay! And some action poses and a face. So um, this was... I think there's also a price tag on the front. Yeah, we paid 51 for it, which seems about what the going rate for her is. Right. Um... um and for me, always, it's, like, a convenience fee if it's a couple extra dollars. Sure. The tax and all that, like, it still ends up being lower when you pick it up in person, in my opinion. Uh, because, especially right now, shipping is, like, insane, outrageous. Yeah. yeah it takes forever, too. Yeah. Like, we have a lot of stuff caught in limbo right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Number 1171. 1171. Mm-hmm. Here's the back, some options. She looks like she came with couple of cute little accessories yeah yeah i totally forgot about the star um symbol what star symbol star symbol oh like a symbol that's like shaped like stars so she shakes it gotcha she definitely does that at some point mm-hmm. um let's see here let me get that guy on top cool hey And she's open. Looks pretty straightforward in terms of props, hands. It looks like you got one extra faceplate. I'm going to say she's probably compatible with the other one they put out, so they probably didn't want to double up too much on... Right. Um, That and, like, what's really awesome, too, is that, like, Yukina came with a mic, so you could actually have them stand next to each other mm-hmm. and like be look look like they're singing into a mic or doing anything like that. Are so. they the only two that have no? Uh, Kokoro has one, right? That has, has stage mm-hmm. variants. Yeah. yeah. And then I know that they are recently releasing Sayo and Kaoru. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think Kaoru's actually is also a stage variant because it's got the Hello Happy World hat. It's not her school uniform. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, since the last time even that we were in Anime Jungle back in February, mm-hmm. a lot more Bandori representation than yeah. there was last time. It yeah. It was like, I'm talking like way more, so. I don't see any tape. I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm getting tricked because I think they I keep thinking there's no, tape. you're good. Not. Hooray. I don't know. Okay. Let's get a good look at what we got there. Yeah. She's nice and protected. She's got a set of legs, another hand. Set of arms. legs. What are the legs for? Um, usually it's like a knee bend. Oh, it just right, looks right. like yeah. like Good call. she's putting her leg up or you know, it's a little more expressive. Mm-hmm. I guess on the front here, you can make her legs go like this. Oh, like she's doing the Sorry. jump. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, a little expression there. Let's see. Got some plastic stuff. Oop. She's got a very determined look on her face. She is a... 
She's Kasumi. She's guitarist. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think you gotta pop the head off. No! I think you gotta pop the yeah, head I'm off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to decapitate her really quick. Yeah. Maybe even take her torso. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, doesn't she look uh, very determined? Yeah. She's gonna win. Good quality on the hair, I would say. Mm -hmm. You got two layers the in there. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think the hair comes off in the front. You probably don't need to do that for her. No, I, I mean it's only to change her face, her face plate. plate. Yeah, because yeah. she doesn't. It would be really nice if they released like the one hairstyle of her where it's like all of her hair is in the little cat buns. Mm -hmm. and she's got like, yeah, got, like little little beads and stuff. It's really cute. There she is. Um, really cute details on the uh on the costume. Oh, little stars on her sockies. Very cute. Yeah, a lot of, lot of good detail on this Nendo, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, her uh, costume. It's the first costume, but I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, th that was the thing for us. It, like, for me personally, I'm not as big on... And this is true of the statues as well. I'm not as big on their, like, school uniforms. I don't know Neither why. Neither am I, because um, they're all the same. There's only two sets, you know, because they're two different schools, but, like, same. Right. They're like, it's... standing next to each other. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I prefer the the stage variants for sure. That's something not, not going to stop me from getting the school days Chisato when she's out. Uh, but someday, someday, <laughs> right? But you know, of course, I would rather a stage outfit. Yeah, I feel like you, they put out the school ones because they know that like they get to double dip. Where if you're like you yeah. gotta, especially with a character like Akko too, mm -hmm. very popular, and I feel like I see a lot of people who have the school days variant just because she doesn't have a great statue yet. Right. Yeah. So. Um I do believe they're in the works though, for sure. Like I just I think the popularity of Bang Dream has just grown and grown and grown in the last couple of years. Yeah. So the demand is definitely there. It's just due to world circumstances. Got a little bit of a delay. Um, would you like to do something different with her? Different pose? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. You wanna take this guy. Such. All right. Woo. So it, it looks like the, the default arms are not really suited to have the guitar necessarily. So, so maybe gotta, that's what these two little ones are for. Right. You're going to have to do a little bit of leg work here. Okay. Um. I should probably get an organizer for these rather than keeping the spare parts in the box. But. Yeah, but then I'm, like, scared that I, like, won't know where the box... <sighs> sure. ...or which ones go with who. Oh, this is like a tambourine. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's a it. star-shaped tambourine. Sure. So this one has, like, a pick. Oh, cute. Yeah. Uh, see it? So, is it's... it, like, shaped like a pick? Is it shaped like a star? Looks like just your standard pick, okay. I'm going to say. Okay. So we probably should actually put the guitar on yeah. first, which is going to involve some head removal. Yeah. It's so funny. Like, it doesn't just, like, go on to actually do some finagling. Oh, you're yeah. going to... Yeah, I can tell this is actually going to be kind of a process. That's... I probably could have done this from the bottom now that I'm thinking about it. No, that's fine. Rubik's mm -hmm. Cube. Well, what I... My brain is thinking I would... Take the guitar and put it in the arm first. Put it in the arm first, you think? Yeah. Make sure that arm is gripping it the way that it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. With picture for reference. Well, it's gonna. It's it definitely doesn't lock into her arm. It doesn't. It's supposed to sit okay. Like this maybe. Yeah. But then. But then what? What is the angle? You know. Look at the picture. But that's not the. Picture. I don't think that's the arm they use. What do you mean that's not the arm they use? Because it's a long arm, you see? No, I, what they're doing is... The Are they pick using arm, that one? The pick arm is, no. like, up here. Yeah. Am I missing? No. Oh, you might have to change hands. You have to change the hand. See? See this hand right here? It's got a grippy. The, uh, but the, I get it, yeah, for sure. But then, what is the play with this hand? Is this just her, like I think a that's rock? Her doing, just doing a rock, doing out. a like a shaka or a metal or something. Okay, I don't. You never get to say that Kasumi's doing a shaka. That is not cool. Is she? Is she doing a metal? Yeah, she's side? doing a metal. Yeah, she's going like this. Not the same. It's not the same. Do you remember, like Nendo arms are 
Nendo arms are a heck They're of a thing. They're a little fin- finicky. They're kind of loose. Um, you kind of just have to pose and hope that it stays. <laughs> sure. And then just set it and forget it. Like, don't mess with it too much. That's what I've always thought yeah. about. That's not bad. That yeah, works. we'll play with her a little bit Not more. Not sure why she's meddling like down, but you know, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Hey, I'm doing my best. I know, I know. Yeah, there you go. Ha She's meddling and she's multi-instrumenting all at once. I like that other faceplate too. Yeah. And then you know, it just got your standard base and one of the hooks for her back. Nothing too special there. Right. Honestly, nothing, nothing goofy. Yeah. With the base. Yeah. We're definitely going to put her in the bang dream section of the cabinet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. We will figure out a pose that works. But anyway, this was the Cafe... Is it Dulce? Cafe or... Dulce. Dulce, not Dolce. Name... No. no. Dolce and Dulce are almost the same word, but they're different They are languages. not the same word. They I are the same you. word in two different languages. All right. I would yeah. defer to her on this one. <laughs> the, the Cafe Dulce promo... For Bang Dream Cafe, is what right. it was called. Yeah. And the stage variant of Cosme. Cosme. Yeah. The Nendo. Yeah, she's literally the face face of Bang Dream. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.